Hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Dash, and today I'm gonna be reacting to my friend the Key Pony's video about G5. So uh, let's get right into it. Hello everyone, the Shadow Key Pony here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Generation Five. Um, now, where do I begin? Um, <coughs> Generation 5, uh, at least the movie, was... It was alright. Yeah, same. Um, I liked it too, a little bit, but... Yeah, G5 in, in general hasn't been that good ever since the movie dropped afterwards I think um like you know I liked um what did I like in this film um I like how we got to see you know new characters and um you know and God, this is kind of this is this is hard because, um, but yeah, I like I liked I liked the characters, uh, how we got to see different characters, and um, you know, the story could have been done, you know, a little bit better, but you know, I like how we got to see you know the adventures of the movie as well which uh, Make Your Mark doesn't really do yeah I noticed that a lot when I was like when I was watching it well like when it first aired well not aired but streamed on Netflix uh, I was thinking hang on a minute why are they always going to these same locations again and again because the thing is with Make Your Mark is that Make Your Mark Make Your Mark feels like it's set in the same locations. Like, they don't really go on, you know, like a proper adventure. Well, th they did add Opaline's castle, I guess, so... I guess that counts as a new location in a sense. Because it was in the movie originally, if I recall. Oh, if you know what I mean. And, um... Yeah, so I pretty much, you know, felt that Make Your Mark was kind of, I mean, it was kind of bad. I, I really didn't like where they, where they went with the series and... And this is why I have more hope for Transformers instead of My Little Pony nowadays, because it's because, you know, it's... It's because Transformers, I don't know, for some reason, right? And and this is my opinion here, but I just feel like Transformers has been has been given more love and support by Hasbro compared to what MLP got. Well, of this generation at least, like I think G4 got a lot of support, honestly. You know, like when it was still around, but after G4 Hasbro has been, you know, what's the word? Showing more love and support to Transformers, I feel like. And stuff like that. Um, but yeah. I didn't mind the film, but the actual... The series itself, like, it's just... It's just bad. Like, in Chapter 1, we didn't really go anywhere else. We were just in... Uh, the Maritime Bay. Yeah, about that. I'm not really a fan of this whole chapter thing going on, which I would I would make a mark because here's the thing: like G4, like didn't do that. Like they literally did like what, like seasons? I I believe. So from twenty, so from late 2010 to like to I don't know, like the middle of I don't know, like 2011, like you know, like. You know, like, there was only one season of, like, MLP, and then we got season two later on in, the uh, later on in, uh, two, uh, 
2011 till like 2012, etc. Like, come on, like you can see where I'm going with this, but essentially, right? You know, like with G5, it's just it doesn't feel like a proper MLP show or whatnot. Uh, again, and then in chapter two, we get introduced to Opaline. Um, which is revealed uh, that Twilight and her knew each other, and then... I mean, I guess they knew each other or something, but, you know, or, you know, or maybe, you know, at one point, I don't know, honestly, like, like, this is what I don't like about shows and, and movies sometimes, it's when they retcon, like, things like this or something, well, not retcon, but kind of, you know, add shit like, you know, like, like, you know, like villains that we never heard of, or etc. Later in, like, chapter four, uh, spoilers for chapter four, by the way, um, I think it's alright to give spoilers about chapter four, because it's been, like, how long now since chapter four came out? I think chapter four came out, well, like, on the 6th of June, and that was, like, Five or four weeks ago, I believe. So, yeah. It was also revealed that Opaline um, was also their princess, prince, sorry, Celestia, Alicorn years, um, or whatever. And in 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 chapter three, um, you guys can see how I'm not. Oh how I don't really like Generation 5 that much because I barely remember, you know, what happens in each of the chapters. Um, Once again, I'm not a fan of Chapters 2, like with, with G5, because, you know, the thing about G5 is that, you know, it's it's not like G4 in a sense. Like, here's the thing, right? L and like here's the thing, right? If you're going to continue something as great as G4, you gotta, you know, you gotta bring the same energy and uh, and and whatever it is that they had. Like for example, like like for example, I'm trying to think of an example here, but you know how in like in movies, right? When you know, like after. Like you know how like when the first movie happens and a few and a few years after that, like you make a second one or something, you have to like you have to make sure that the second movie has the same energy as the first movie. But in this case, you know like G, you know like you know, like you know G five doesn't like doesn't have the same energy and uh, s storytelling as G four honestly. Now, man. Generation 5 had so much potential to be good, and... I think that's the case with a lot of shows, honestly. Because, you know, like, for example, Power Rangers Mega Force and Super Mega Force back in, like, 2013 to, like, uh, to, like 2014 had potential, too, because, you know, like, like, you know, but, like, you know, how to explain it, like, because they were uh, taking two Sentais, like, two different Sentais, Go Sager about angels and go and go Kaiser about pirates, and what they could have done, in my opinion, is that you know like they could have made those Sentai's two different ranger teams or something or or given the Go Sager powers to the main cast and give the Go Kaiser powers like to to new people, but instead right, but instead but instead the weapon was. In Mega Force and Super Mega Force, uh, uh, the uh, the main Rangers basically got the pirate powers, and it was just stupid, honestly. And it just didn't, you know, it just didn't excite me, you know, like make your mark. And um, now I'm not. You know, if you guys like uh, Generation One, has their own, but I pers a continuation to it should have instead of continuing <coughs> on from. But yeah, so 
I liked Opaline. Opaline's not a bad, not a bad. Yeah, same. She, she's not a bad villain, but I wouldn't put her up with. I put her. I wouldn't put her up there with Chrysalis, in my opinion, because Chrysalis was I was honestly more evil than Opaline in a sense. And, um, I was gonna say villain, but I'm gonna say evil character. Um, she's not a bad evil character as well. In Make Your Mark, um, that we kind of gotten how many cliffhangers? Or was it three cliffhangers? We had like two cliffhangers. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, like we had two cliffhangers, and it took about. Like, it definitely wasn't chapter three because I remember chapter three only having the Christmas special. The special, if I'm wrong, on uh, chapter three only having uh, one episode in there. I think I, I think it did have one episode in it, if I remember correctly, or something. I don't know. I do you remember? Um, um was uh kind of joining uh Sunny and her friends and, um odd like chapter four they did it you know they 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 did go somewhere a little bit different here and oh yeah guys that's what that's what I also wanna mention. Um I hated how the characters just ignored Zip. Like Oh yeah, same. I felt the same with you about Zip because you know, like, you know, like that's the thing I don't like about shows and shows and TV, TV shows and movies, honestly. Especially in horror movies, though, that's a thing because you know, like, whenever, like, whenever someone mentions something like, oh, this person's, oh, this person's a ghost or they're a spy, I'm um, like. Uh, the first response that people would give to that person is like, like, oh, you're crazy, oh, like. Oh, they call me true because I know this person is good and all. Like and like, and that's the thing about and that's the thing I don't like about shows and movies, in my opinion, is when is like is when the logical person gets ignored by the non-logical people or something, or when or when you say something that's you know like that's correct. Yeah, but nobody listens to you. Like for example, right? Uh, I can't believe I'm. I can't believe I'm using. I can't believe I'm using. I can't believe I'm using. I can't believe I'm using like this example. But anyways, um, I was in a car with a friend of mine, and he told me to call this restaurant. This uh, restaurant because he wanted to book a table for three of us. And I go, oh, why don't we just go in? Because you know I don't think they'll you know do like uh phone calls or something. And he goes, yeah, sure. Like if you want to be lazy. And uh, and then I did it because you know like he was like he, like and then I did it because you know like, he wouldn't like get over the facts that you know I was probably right. So I called the place up on my phone and I asked for a table. And guess what? I was right at the start because like you know what happened? The person on the phone goes, "Yeah, sorry, but we don't do um like you know like table reservations on the phone. Like you have to come into the place and do it." And yeah, like that's what I don't like about. You know, like these type of things sometimes, like it's you know, like you know, like you know, like you know, I don't like how like when you say or do something the first time, uh, and people don't believe you. It's so annoying. What Zip was, what Zip was doing, she was basically, you know, you know, investigating why who this um mysterious uh unicorn was, Opaline. Well, not. Unicorn? Uh, Alicorn was. And, um... Sunny, Sunny, Pip, and Hitch, and, uh, Izzy just ignored her. Like, I, I hate that. Like, why would you... Like, Zip is trying to tell you something, as well as Twilight, and you just... You just ignore them both. Like, why? 
maybe the the writers wanted to uh wanted to make it like um we're planning with with that but like or um proper one um dragon magic I cannot explain movie's magic. I hate I hated um I hated this show, man. Uh the movie was alright, but the show it the show itself um I I have like I do have a question like why do we need chapters in an MLP show? I know, right? Because, you know, here's the thing, right? You know, if it was a book series, I wouldn't mind it because, you know, like, they're books and, you know, it makes more sense with books. But, you know, if it's like a series, why would you want to, like, split up in chapters, though? That's a thing. I'm sorry, but why? Like... Like... And, and and why are the episodes like how why are the episodes like spread out from each other like why like i swear to god like some of these episodes should should be in like pretty much the same chapter like Well, um, the animation, uh, um, but it got a little, but Generation 5, to be honest. If I'm being honest here as well, I'm not a fan of the CGI and animation for G5 at all, because, you know, here's the thing, right? It just looks, it doesn't look that great in my opinion, I'm sorry, but I just don't like how some of these ponies look. In CG, like I'm gonna bring this up again, but I don't have a problem, you know, with modern with modern shows. Some of them are good, and if you guys remember my reaction to MLP Fever's video, I said that. Um, I said that, you know, that there are some good, uh, that there are good modern day shows out there. Um, things like the classic two, early 2000s Ben 10. 2005 Ben 10, actually. Ben, uh, Ben 10 Alien. 2008 Ben 10 Alien Force. False. Um, what else? Ultimate Alien Force? 2010 Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. That's it. As well. Um, was actually good. Uh, uh Ultimate Alien was alright, I guess, but... I don't know. I wasn't a fan of the whole... I wasn't a fan of the, of the whole Ultimate gimmick with the watch back then because, you know, it's just... Here's the thing, right? You know, at the start of Ultimate Alien, I didn't mind it that much because, you know, it was cool. But then, but then, but then later on, like, I when I when Ben was getting like new aliens, right? In in, in seasons two and three, I was like, yeah, no, there's no point in going Ultimate at this point because like, because you have Heat Blast and Forms and other aliens that you had before. So why need Ultimates? Um. And then you've got stuff like Transformers Prime. Oh yeah, true. It's a shame that it ended in 2013, um, with season three along with uh, MLP, like when they also ended season three. But sadly, one of the two shows like still continued in 2014, and I think you know what show it is, obviously, because you know. Um. That was good, even though I haven't watched it in a very long time. I mean, you can still watch the episodes on YouTube, like, to this day, I, I believe. Um, but yeah. Like, there are some good modern-day shows out there. Um, that you guys probably don't 
remember or maybe do remember you just i mean i mean here's the thing about me right uh you know as you um you know like because you know because i was born in the year 2000 i remember a lot of shows back then like you know like more than a key pony because i was born well you know like like three years after him i believe or something so yeah i remember shows like dragon booster or uh, or I try I try to remember the show names now, but they're like um, ATO uh, um, um, Atom I think from Jetix. Um, um, I remember the original Power Rangers. Oh, not my more. Well, I do I do remember now, but I wasn't born in the ninety uh, the ninety, so I wouldn't know. But my morph until until like until like two thousand and three I think. But yeah, like there were a lot of shows that I remember back then. Uh, shows like Dragon Booster or Time Force or or you know Lost Galaxy or etc. or you get what I mean basically. Like, I remember a lot more shows honestly. Probably haven't watched them in a long time, but yeah, like there there are some good modern day shows out there. Um, but Generation Five, it could have done say. Season nine. Uh, I mean, uh, if I'm being honest here, um, <coughs> it's not as bad as season nine, honestly, because you know, um, with season nine, um, the, the problem with season nine, in my opinion, was that it wasn't really making enough sense, in my opinion. Here in here in Make a Mark, they are making some sense, I guess, but you know, I think. I think Make a Mark is a is is a tad better than season nine in a sense. Make your mark, but yeah, anyway, because I like Misty. She was all right. Yeah, same. I was like Misty's character too because even though she was, I won't call her a villain really. It's just that you know, she was basically manipulated by <laughs> by opaline into doing her dirty business. In order for her to get Q mark from Opaline, uh, but then, uh, but then at the end, but then at the end of chapter four, she gets it herself by, by saving Sunny and her friends from Opaline, even though she, even though she told them to, to make it look like they, you know, tied her up instead of her tying herself up, I guess. But yeah, I'm curious to see what happens in chapters five and six. And according to Google, chapter five is gonna stream on the uh, 18th of September, I believe, and chapter six and the chapter six and the last one, sadly, is gonna air on the 23rd of November of this year. You know, she's she's an okay character. Yeah. I mean, I also like her too because she's blue. You know, she's kind of the. She's an undercover. She found her funny. Uh, she keeps like falling over or making mistakes. <laughs> uh, I agree. I love when characters do that a lot. Um, I think. Uh, I think. I think the last character who did that also back in G four was Scootaloo because I remember in the episode uh, Sleepless in Ponyville, whenever she would, whenever she would try to impress Rainbow Dash, like she would always, I kid you not, like either fall down or whatnot. And I also remember at the end of the episode, um, Rainbow Dash says, "Rainbow Dash says to Scootaloo, um, it just promised me that you won't keep falling down or tripping, <laughs> or something." But yeah, nothing to say on Generation Five uh, at the moment because, um, like. Oh man. But yeah, it's <coughs> the show could have been done better and um I just hope that they don't mess up um you know the lore and stuff um from the previous generation. That is, if um, Generation Five really is canon to the main timeline of Generation. 
I mean, it probably is, but you know, I um, I don't know exactly because you know I'm not really that much of an MLP fan that much. Um, because you know, like because you know, like I, because you know, I only I only became a Brony uh, last year in September after I dropped out of uni and was broke essentially. <laughs> well, not broke, but yeah, broke and uh, like unemployed. Generation four. Um, but yeah, um, uh, man, at least chapter four was okay, I guess, um, but, you know, I kind of lost interest in generation, in, sorry, yeah, generation five, um, a little bit like I'm not that interested yeah same I may have lost interest in G5 because you know and this is and this is my opinion here but I don't like how they separated the Pegasi ponies unicorns and the uh, earth ponies at, at the start of G5 because you know like when you, because you know because you know when I watched that movie originally I was thinking to myself hang on wait a minute why are the um Pegasi, um, Pegasi, unicorns, and Earth ponies are, like not living together, like you know, like like in G four originally. But then you know this whole lore of the uh, magic of the like you know, of the crystal, like what do you call it? The the a unity crystal, I think, was the reason why I don't know exactly. So weird. Or excited for uh, chapter five or chapter six. Um... I've also heard that um, Generation Five is going to end at some point. I mean, probably will, but uh, but not this year. I think. I think this year is the end of Make Your Mark, if I recall. But but you know, like, I'll probably get like a proper series maybe in twenty twenty four or something. I don't know yet. Um. I think those are just um, rumors at the moment, though. Um, but yeah, um, man, like some of the characters are okay. You know, Sunny's all right, and Zip is all right, <coughs> I guess as well. Um, Pip, she's. Oh, I know what I was going to say here. He's basically going to mention how he doesn't like how Pip is on her phone uh, most of the times, like, in the show. But, you know, um, um, I will say that, you know, I think the reason why they made her character like that is because, you know, uh, most, like, influencers or people from Instagram or TikTok are like that, sadly. Because, you know, like, there are people in this world from Instagram or TikTok who are, like, who are on the phones too much, I would, I would say. Uh, I mean... A phone. Um, on the ground, just... Like, why? Um... But yeah, I feel like Generation Five doesn't really have that uh, that magic like what Generation Four had. Um, yeah, same. And uh, I'm gonna say this again because I don't know if I said it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I said or someone else said. It, but basically, uh, I feel like the reason why people still make G4 content instead so of G5 content is because the series itself of G5 is a bit. Is a bit, you know, like not. It's not. It's not very interesting. Like that's what I would say because, you know, with G four, like there was a lot of funny moments and episodes in it. With G five, it's just oh, this chapter comes out now and uh, like, but you have to wait like I don't know, like three plus months for chapter two or three to come out. I'm like, okay, so okay, so what's the point of you know? chapters then if we're just going to find other shit to like like you know what I mean like 
like you know, like you know what I mean like for example um you know like Power Rangers hasn't even like here's the thing like we haven't got any new Power Rangers show yet like because we have to wait until fucking I don't know September in two months time for Cosmic Fury and and Ben 10 hasn't gotten like a new show since like 2021 after like the reboot ended so yeah like um so yeah um that so yeah um that's what I don't like about shows sometimes nowadays is that they take too long to either get like a rebooted or kind of like continued in a sense but with shows on Netflix, it it, it just takes like a, a it just takes a ridiculous amount of time. Well, like you know what I mean, right? Like why can't you just you know like release the episodes or whatnot as soon as possible? Like when they created, like with TV though, like that's a thing, right? With TV shows, right? You know, like you know, like with TV shows, like once the episodes or or specials are recorded or yeah made. You know, like release them on TV or something like that. Um, because the thing is with Friendship is Magic, guys, um, is that Friendship is Magic was set in this um, it was set in this kind of myth myth in this uh mythological is the word you're looking for mythological world, um, kind of similar to Harry Potter. Um, and it had all types of things in there. It had dragons, um, uh, things from, you know, folklore and, you know, all that stuff. And, um, yeah, it, it was good. And Generation 5, it's just... I think the problem with Generation 5 is that, like, they were trying to make it appealing to the you know the current generation of people in 20 in 2022 to like so like, some of it in 2020 to like like you know like and and you know like and you know in the future because you know with G4 at the time I think it was I think the reason why G4 was kind of set in a like mythological time period is because you know like you know like kids back then like you know like you know like you know weren't into smartphones or something if i recall but you know but you know as time has gone forward i guess like you know kids and younger people you know like really enjoy smartphones and whatnot it's set in this modern day setting which in my opinion now this is just my opinion guys okay uh for the people that like Generation 5. This is just my opinion, okay? Um, please don't get angry. I really think that the modern day setting doesn't really suit My Little Pony. Um, I think they could have gotten with a different setting. Yeah, same. Like, here's the thing, right? Uh, when, uh, when G4 was still a thing, right, back then, I kid you not, like... Even though, like, it, like, even though, like, they weren't based in a modern day setting, right? Like, Hasbro, you know, like, Hasbro, like, Hasbro, like, still sold crazy amount of shit for, uh, for G4. Like, like, I kid you not, right? There is, like, there's this black and pink Pinkie Pie car, right? In this, like, in, like, in this video somewhere, right? And also, I, I was thinking, hey, wait a minute. Why does Pinkie Pie, like, need a car if she... You know, like if she's like in a like in a mythological setting, like you know what I mean, right? Like that's the thing I don't like about companies. Sometimes it's when they it's when they sell items or products that weren't even like in the show. Sometimes, like a Power Rangers, though, right? It's a bit more understandable because with Power Rangers, you know, like I guess you can sell like 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 you can basically sell like you know items that weren't in the show if you want, but with about with MLP, it just makes no sense. That's all. Like, why would you sell uh, um, a product such as a car, like of a Pinkie Pie, or a, or a train for her two at one point? Uh, maybe 
somewhere set in like I don't know the nineteen nineteen twenty um nineteen twenties. This um you know modern day you know. But yeah, um, I don't think I've got anything else to say really. Uh, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I've really got nothing to. Say. It's just, man. If you like this video, um, uh, don't forget to comment. If you. Please leave your. If I've missed, if I've missed any, watch. Go, goodbye. Anyways, that's my reaction to Key Pony's video about uh, MLP Gen Five. Um, yeah, I yeah, I do agree with him on like honestly because like I do I do agree with him that G Five hasn't hasn't been that good lately after the movie in like in 2021. And yeah, or or 2020, sorry, or something. I got, I don't know when it came out on Netflix, but anyways, yeah, I do agree that you know, like G5 hasn't been that good at all. And uh, I don't know if I want to address. As I, I don't want, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to address in this video, but I'm, I'm gonna do anyways. Um, my sub count has been going up and down lately, and uh, and for those who who have probably been unsubscribing and then subscribing to me again I would appreciate it if you just made your fucking mind up honestly because look right because look right I don't care if you you know I don't care if you don't want to watch my videos and all, okay because here's the thing I don't do this for money or something okay I only do it because you know as a hobby like when I'm not working like at my actual job but yeah, um, that's what I want to say, really. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.